Minister, I gather a new national student accommodation strategy is being developed as we speak. <coughs> the 2016 policy targeted no new student accommodation in Waterford. This despite the issue of a university in Waterford appearing in the 2011, 2016 and 2020 programme for government. To reiterate, Minister, none, nada, nothing. I cannot resist making the cheap shot, Minister. This is one of the few targets in housing government has actually achieved. WIT, SETU as it is now, was at the vanguard of developing its own student accommodation with the College Fields Development dating back to 1992, the first IOT in the country to do so. This was, of course, when WIT management had some control of its own affairs and strategic planning. In this government programme, Waterford was, of course, barred from borrowing as part of the process enforcing it to accept the technological university. So my question is, Minister, Will the new student accommodation policy have any scintilla of ambition to address the brain drain in the South East? And when will SETU be allowed to borrow? Thank you, Minister. To correct the point you made, that actually, our housing targets we met in 2022, we exceeded them. We exceeded our housing targets in 2023 as well, they'll be put and substantially. In relation to student accommodation, actually, I'm with Minister Harris tomorrow in DCU at the launch of we've already invested 61 million euro uh, in additional student accommodation. Uh, that we want affordable, and my department's worked directly with, with, with Minister Harris on this. Um, specifically in relation to South Eastern Waterford, uh, Deputy, and you'll know this, is that there's been unprecedented investment uh, in Waterford and in the region since this government came into office. I've had the pleasure of being in Waterford on a number of occasions, seeing game-changing investment there. You'll know the Waterford Crystal site has been purchased as well. We're working with the Technological University uh, in the South East as well. Uh, in relation to the provision of additional student accommodation. Thank I'll you, raise Minister. the matter, actually, coincidentally, I'm with Minister Harris tomorrow. I'll discuss it directly with him, and I'll, I'll revert to you. Thank okay. you, Deputy Paul.